You've heard of different place value names. You know the ones, which we normally show with a ones cube. You know the tens, which is a tens bar. And you know the hundreds, which would be ten of the tens bars. But what happens when you get smaller than a one? Those are called decimals. When you get to parts of a one, we need to think smaller. So in order for us to go smaller than our one, I need to magnify it for you. Imagine this box as a large one magnified. We can divide the one into little parts. The first way we can do that is split a one into ten parts. Each of these bars stands for one out of ten parts of just a one. If I fill in one of them, I could read this as one tenth of a one. I filled in two, I would have two tenths. And if I would go on to fill in all of the box and all of the bars, I could be the same as saying that I have 10 out of 10 tenths, or one, one whole. You can think of each of these tenths as a part, and the way that we'd write that or show that is like this. We'd have our normal one, and anything that is a part of a one, we put in the place right after a decimal point. This is called the tenths place. It's almost like you're saying it with a lisp, tenth, tenth, because you have a funny ending. So it's like tens, but it's with a th, tenth. So you could tell your friends all about tenths, okay? So if we had two tenths, I would show that by writing a two in the tenths place. So right now my number that I have here is saying that I have one of the ones and two parts of one of these little guys. So I could almost think of about that much of the one.